Hey and welcome to this video where I will be talking about uh, the new Operation Riptide uh, update for CSGO. Uh, the update was yesterday and the reason why I do this video is because so many people have already started arguing about what this means uh, both for the casual players but mainly for the esports side and I can't even think about how many misinterpretations fake news and false facts that has come out with this. There's so many issues that I've seen on Twitter, on HLTV, on Reddit, on forums, everywhere. People are making videos about uh, how, uh, how irritated they are with the new update without even going through what happened, uh, what was updated and why the update was as it is. Uh, what, what, what's the implications of the update what is actually happening so i'll read through the patch notes and uh, then i give my take and a few uh, i'm going to explain everything for you so yesterday operation riptide was introduced introducing operation riptide featuring new maps new missions and new ways to play your favorite game modes Activate an Operation Riptide Pass and complete your missions to earn rewards including all new agents, weapon collections, stickers and patches. Uh, quite straightforward, I would say, uh, with a new operation. Most people have been here long enough to have played uh, several before. This is the 11th edition of a... 11th operation. So, nothing new there. Uh, the thing I will take away from what they say here... Uh, like new agents, that's the second update, I think, on agents. Since the uh, last uh, operation also had agents. And uh, then we have the uh, weapon collection, stickers and patches comes out quite regularly. That's one of the few things that uh, Valve actually updates, in my opinion. Uh, they should do more real updates, but this is what brings them money. Uh, Riptide Pass is uh, quite cheap. Uh, I forgot him, uh, how much it costs right now, but uh, in my opinion, it was quite cheap. Um, but another thing, new missions. Uh, so missions are things you do to get stars. And for stars, you can buy either new agents, weapon collections, boxes, cases, stickers, and patches. And maybe other things I don't recall. Uh, I might update that as well uh, in future weeks, as they did with uh, Broken Fang, if I remember correctly. But uh, I want to see that uh, new ways to play your favorite game modes. It will be more about that later. But they don't specifically say, they they specifically deny that there will be new game modes. They will stick. To the game modes we already have so no update there and i think it is understandable but i would prefer some new game modes as well uh maybe not just for this patch but for uh, any update on csgo it would be nice with some game modes maybe things that uh, the casual viewers hasn't uh, thought about or casual players hasn't thought about and a uh, fun story i was watching uh Blast, uh, what's it called? Uh, Blast Overtime from uh, yesterday. And Maniac uh, hadn't even played all the game modes and uh, seen all the updates from Broken Fang. That was like a year ago or something. That was quite funny, actually, considering he lives, well, he plays this game for a living. Uh, what else was uh, important from this? Uh, I, I won't go through the agents, weapon collection, stickers, and patches because. I am not that interested in that, and there are probably thousands of videos going through this already, and you probably already have checked it out, uh, what patches, what uh, agents, and uh, everything that you want to go. So let's go through the new game modes, or the updated versions of the game modes. Private matchmaking queues. Generate a queue code and share it with your friends and create a private premier match on, on, on Valve servers. Or select one of your Steam groups and play match exclusive with other members of that group. So what this means is that you no longer is forced to play with random people. 
you can play with either friends or people you connected either to a discord group or a steam group or in some other case some other way uh, you can uh, um, consider this as them listening to a lot of people who have left the game because if you're tired of playing against cheaters smurfs toxic people trolls this is a quite clever and easy way to solve that issues because now you can go into a game with people who are somewhat trusted so you could either create a steam group with uh, let's say 20 friends and then you just say i created a lobby uh, copy the code and uh, uh, paste it there and the first nine other people who join will have a game with you that's a good way but uh, the issue might be that it will uh, be skewed because I see a small issue with ranking if you do this but we'll have to see how, that, how it plays out it will probably solve itself because you can just say when you copy the code and paste it you can say that I am this rank please be plus minus two from that or whatever you want Uh, short competitive added option to select a, a preference for match duration in competitive matchmaking short MR 16 long MR 30 or no preference okay first off there's a miscommunication here from valve they don't understand their own uh, language or the language that is used within the uh, scene a lot of people say that uh, the professional players the competitive mode that we use in matchmaking in face it in ESEA in almost all competitive matchmaking uh, no matter if it's third party or in valve secured servers we call it MR 15 max rounds 15 because that's how much you will need after that you will win at round 16 and then at the halfway point which is the max rounds uh, in this case 15 you switch half you switch um, sides uh, so they, there is a huge misunderstanding in this because in this case it's MR16 sounds more like the normal mode and the long mode seems like a double on that but it's actually just a miscommunication or a misunderstanding. It should be MR8 I think or MR9, MR8 yeah and uh, long should be MR15 but it, that, that's not a big thing the the positive thing here is that you no longer have to play a game you, you don't commit to a match for 90 minutes you can commit to a match that is half of that which should be 45 minutes i'm not even sure i, I haven't tried it out yet but it seems interesting because sometimes you maybe say that no i, I I don't have 90 minutes so i'm not gonna queue or you queue for a full match then you have to leave because uh, something happens in real life and you need to leave your computer and bfk for the last three rounds and then you get a ban and you get a cooldown and that whatever uh, so that's an issue also if you go into a 90 minute long game and after two minutes uh two rounds you find out that people are trolling or you're playing a smurf you're playing in cheaters it is quite devastating to know that you got approximately 60 to 90 minutes left on that game and it will just break for, for me i'd rather take a seven day ban than to play 90 minutes against a cheater or a toxic person i take the cooldown for seven days rather than doing that i might be a special case in that case but yeah so a short game mode will reduce that and it will help people with cooldowns or help people play it also might mean that we will see a new meta developing regarding buy rounds and what is a force buy what is an equal round how do i play the economy game uh, maybe even um, valve will use this uh, statistics as uh, seeing how they can improve the economy the ranking system which should to me this shows that they are thinking about the ranking system that same thing with uh, operation broken fan that broke uh, that came out last year i thought that had so many things that showcases that they are thinking about updating the ranking system but they don't know 
how yet so they do updates to try out different things and i wouldn't be surprised if they have an eternal if they have either one or multiple ranking systems in order in their own servers but nothing official nothing that any player can see nothing that you can search for but that they're trying out stuff for the ranking system because rankings have been a huge issue for many years and the community have complained about this for a long long time uh, other than that i don't see too much oh they're interesting you can show either playing short either playing long either playing ranked either playing unranked or no preferences at all that that is uh, quite interesting so you could play uh, you could just queue up and then go into whatever game mode you uh, happen to be in it's it's a quite nice update a deathmatch added the option to select classic deathmatch team deathmatch First team, 200 kills wins, and free for all deathmatch. All players are enemies. I am not a big deathmatch player within Valve servers. I usually, when I play deathmatch, I usually play community servers, which comes uh, to me. It is more stacked, better opponents, uh, usually higher tick rate, which to me isn't that big a deal. Uh, I don't, I don't think too great has that uh, huge impact on the gameplay as uh, the majority of the CSGO community thinks it is. Uh, but for this classic deathmatch, same as uh, it has been be be before, team deathmatch, that means that uh, the team, 200 kills, will win first, quite self-explanatory. Um, and free for all deathmatch. Uh, all players or enemies free for all is something that the community has asked for for a long time it's a quite simple understanding uh, because that's what you want to do like if you go into a death match you don't want to search for people to kill you or just want to spawn in take two steps find someone try to uh, get it engaged and if you survive you go for the next one you don't want like running around the map looking for people or shooting at someone turns out that it's a teammate because you're fucking blind like me you see the glasses um and team deathmatch i hope i hope that people within the CSGO community understands what this could mean if it's properly utilized. Because this means that you no longer have to go into a competitive game mode and um, try to go for stats. You can just go in for the win, not for getting the kills. Team deathmatch, you can queue up with friends against another team and just Go for the kills, go for the stats, go for whatever you want. Like that, that is my hope that it will eradicate people from um, queuing up in competitive matchmaking and just go for the stats, just go for kills, just go for running around and ruining things for others. Same with casual matchmaking, people just run around and it, it, it is just purely, I, I don't even know what, what, what word, it, it's just purely bad for the matchmaking scene to see people going in and not go for the round wins or for the proper csgo experience csgo is to me or competitive matchmaking is to me a team based strategical fps game and a lot of people don't play it that way in competitive matchmaking and in casual matchmaking but they play it uh, as more or less a team deathmatch but now we have team deathmatch. We have a place to queue with friends in a better uh, manner than before. You don't have to look for people and uh, like queue up and uh, invite them to your search party and, uh, in your queue party. That's uh, these two combined, like the private matchmaking queues and the, the team deathmatch. I hope that solves a lot of the issues with the matchmaking. That, that's just my hopes. Uh, let's see, next one. Next one. Demolition. Reduced max rounds to 10 and eliminated half-time team swap. Reduced round time. Adjusted weapon progression. Um, quite interesting. I don't play Demolition. Uh, what, what is it? Reduced max rounds to 10. Uh, 
isn't demolition oh wait okay i haven't played this uh, game mode that much uh, but uh, i think it's a uh, quite good because it's a uh, shorter um and uh, that you swap sides that has been an issue for me and that's probably the reason why i haven't played this because you don't swap sides you only play like it, it gets stale it gets boring um you don't get the variety yeah and if you start out bad you will most likely just not enjoy the game at all so this this is a good update uh, just the weapon progression yeah quite explanatory uh, it's it just like they haven't said what adjustments they've made so I hope that will be introduced or explained in some other way. Otherwise, I know that Three Clicks Philip will release a few videos on this update as well. So hopefully he can go through it because this is more up his alley than mine. I'm more into the esports scene and the matchmaking. I don't really enjoy other game modes. Which is also a reason why I wanted more game modes added. Because the current game modes is not enjoyable for me. Arms race. Adjusted weapon progression. Same thing here. They don't explain what adjustments have been made. So we need to try it out before we talk about it. Players now receive a health shot after three kills. That is a good update. Uh, health shots has been part of the game in other game modes for quite some time. So get it after three kills is a good way because then you can continue your progression much quicker uh, might also mean that people will be more aggressive uh, most people in arms race actually is already extremely aggressive so no shouldn't be a too big a di difference for how the game plays it's just that you can stay alive for a longer time i'm, I'm guessing <coughs> sorry uh, i will jump over the, because we have one more gameplay which is one two three four five six no wait one two three four five six seven eight uh seven or eight updates on a gameplay normal yeah we can go through it actually grenades can be now be dropped just like weapons this is the reason why i want to make this video because people don't understand what this means we have too many discussions going on on almost all platforms, all social media, about what this makes, what it, what, what it means. First off, it actually is not droppable just like weapons. Because if you drop an AK, you can buy a new AK. There are limitations in grenade throwings and utility uh, that uh, makes this impossible. If you spawn in, if you survive a round and you spawn in with... Uh, a smoke and molotov and two flashes before the update you had to throw away a flash if you wanted to buy an uh he if you throw away a flash you couldn't buy a flash if you threw away a smoke you couldn't buy a th uh, smoke if you threw away a molly you couldn't th uh, buy a molly <laughs> in this case you can drop whatever you don't want that you have spawned in with or you can buy the full five like if a teammate doesn't have enough money you can drop them like a flashbang or whatever and then you can buy up uh, whatever you need yourself but you can't go over the buy limit which is missed out in this patch notes it is something that people don't understand because they think that you can juggle needs and buy like 10 flashbangs yourself and juggle it across the map or buy four smokes and just juggle it to uh, be banana and hold out for almost a minute uh, which my math should say yeah it's a minute that's not what's going to happen you can only have one nade uh, you can only have two flashbangs one smoke one molly and one he but a maximum of four on your body as a total you can only buy one of each or spawn in with one of each except for the flashbangs which is two Oh, also decoys but people want to play with decoys or actually this update might i will get back to that decoys how you can utilize this in decoys because decoy will be more viable in my opinion right now so in casual matchmaking not casual in competitive matchmaking i see this 
as being a bit i'm i'm expecting we will have updates to this uh not before the major but most likely after the major uh, but the thing is that now one player can throw all the team's utility so let's say that you play mirage quite close to uh the spawn you can either flash a site or you can smoke off uh, window so what people thought that you could do is smoke off window buy a new smoke grenade smoke off window again buy a new smoke grenade until the buy limit is out or you can just buy drop it on the ground buy a new one drop it on the ground buy a new one and so on so have more or less unlimited utility in spawn or if you juggle it around the map you can get it that's not how it's going to work but your teammates can pile up utility and you can utilize it so we have already seen there are a few clips on uh, twitter and reddit where people just drop all the flashbangs on ramp this has actually been used in a real professional game already i will get back to that but you, you can drop all the flashbangs and smokes on uh, ramp and then the whole team crouch walks or runs to B and just wait for the utility barrage that will happen on A side. The thing is that you have a time delay on each uh, uh, when, when you throw nades so the other team can count is it one player, is it multiple players, if it, uh, how many players are throwing these. So it, it isn't that big an update in that case also that means that you need to all the other players will go in dry on the other side of the map which is not beneficiary like you, you don't benefit anything from first losing the few seconds you get from dropping everything on ramp and then running all the way back to b site and uh, going in without any utility or with less utility you don't earn much of that and i think it will be a flux influx uh, early on where people try this out or they do this as a stupid takes on uh, matchmaking but we will learn how to play it more correctly and over time I don't have an issue with this gameplay being played in matchmaking I don't think it will be a long-term solution long-term meta uh, meta I don't, I don't I don't see it being an issue in that case what is an issue in matchmaking will be that you can drop a flashbang or a decoy here we go comes into why a decoy is so important you can drop it as a pop flash around a corner and since you only drop it and not pop it you can use that same one for all eternity the whole round doing the same thing i hope that this will lead to more creative solutions on how we play the game that is my expectation like people wouldn't know how to listen to the pop flash uh, uh, to the pin because when you pull a pin you hear uh, the pin pull and you know that you will need to move away maybe you can move it move around it i'm not sure uh, where you can make fake the pin pulling sound drop the flash around the corner and then pick it up again and do the same thing over and over again Maybe that could be an uh, upgrade that if you drop something where the pin is pulled, you can't use it again because in reality, that's not how it works. Would make sense, but we'll see that uh, there will be upgrades about this. But it means also that you can use one flashbang for $200. You can use it more or less how many times you want, like say every two seconds for a whole round or for multiple rounds if you survive. Uh, but here, the decoy more or less looks quite similar to a flashbang so my suggestion is buy a decoy if you want to do this because if you die you don't lose as much money and then you use the flashbangs as real flashbangs so when you do a fake flash do it with a decoy when you do a proper flash do it with a flashbang my suggestion i also think that this will imp uh, have an impact on eco uh, eco or force buys and pistol rounds because now you can have one guy with armor and utility or armor deagle and utility uh, i think that in both pro scene and in matchmaking this will happen but it won't 
be a too significant change to the gameplay already because it also means that someone else will be without utility without a kevlar without a good weapon so it, it, we, we will see how it plays out but i don't think it's as severe as people think <coughs> In professional gameplay, we will most likely see this utilized in a totally different way. We will maybe see... Let's take Dust2, for instance. We will see that one team takes... On T-side, you take long control, you have four people alive or something, all on long. Then you can actually either have one guy staying safe in pit with multiple smokes, he can throw all the smokes and everything from a secure distance, not being part of the entry pack, not being part of the uh, execution, in uh, not up close, which means he will be playing from a secure spot. So I, I, I think that will be a meta change. Also, another thing that a friend of mine uh, uh, talked about, uh, what if you have two players that uses utility but they know how to time it correctly so it appears like it's just one guy using multiple utility the city side will or the other uh, opponents will think that it's just one guy because, uh, who had a teammate that dropped utility to him and he is trying to do a fake but actually it's not a fake it's just a proper uh play style another thing would be the fake one person fake but i don't I think that's too easy to read unless you actually have really creative smoke lineups where uh, where you can make the smokes bloom properly more or less the same time but yeah it, it will be a creative gameplay in that case and that will only improve the professional scene even though it will be a time sadly right before a major where we will see people being new to the meta or not up to the meta or developing the meta so frequently that the gameplay overall is decreasing because of uh, how quickly we try to find new things that's about it uh, a lot of mis misunderstandings for this is how people will use it how it actually works because you can you can still only carry the same amount of nades you can only buy the same amount of nades. There's no real change in that regard. And in most cases, people have said like, yeah, but one guy can just do this and this. Uh, one guy can uh, drop all utility as one person. Yeah, but you have a timing delay just on the utility. You have a timing delay because someone has to drop all the utility to that person and then go back i don't think it's worth the risk of uh, losing map control losing timing because a big part of the game is timing based is map based uh, map control based or uh, what should we call it specific spots on the map uh, you, you need to have map control on certain spots so i don't think that long term people will abuse it in the way people a lot of people have uh, interpreted it and go back to what I said earlier in an ESEA advanced I think it was NA match if I remember correctly I don't know it's exactly what match it was but it was a professional game where people just dropped all the utility on Mirage a a ramp side had one or two players stand there throwing the utility they smoked stairs they smoked jungle they smoked default they threw flash off the flash off the flash had one guy rotate from B or from mid, I don't recall what it was. So it was three people on A, one either mid or B, uh, either two people on B or one B and one mid. Four people rush B without any utility, getting mowed down. It was one molly, nobody had a smoke anymore, so nobody could put out the molly. He could peek as much as he want because he was not flash, because all the flashes was on A side. Uh, they couldn't use utility like a Molotov or a uh, HE to get him out of position, or he could just stand in the same spot and get 4K, and the fifth uh, and the other guy got the fifth kill. It was just a mess. So no, T2 
do not try this at home do not do this because you will lose unless you meet people who are fucking retarded and just rotate based off on utility because if you can't count to sec uh, to two seconds or if you can't count how many people are on the site because of timings and stuff like that no you are you are not ready to play this game you might go back to the call of duty or uh, whatever else aim based game you're playing this is a tactical shooter play it tactically vision after death reduced from th three seconds to two seconds seconds vision by headshots reduced from one second to 0 0.5 seconds this is quite significant change but i don't think that it will i think it's just something that we will have to get used to uh death vision fakes has been a part of the game for a long time since uh vision of the death was introduced i can't recall when that happened but now you don't have to fake for three seconds you can just fake for two seconds uh or if you headshot someone 0 0.5 seconds you don't even recognize what ha what is happening in 0 0.5 seconds not enough to make a proper call and uh, as uh, Alex said, because someone uh, asked a lot of IGLs that play quick information based games where they die early on, uh, they asked these people how this will uh, affect, and he said, like, no, won't affect our gameplay at all because two seconds and three seconds, we, we, we can't be sure if it's a fake or not unless it's just a few seconds on the clock so it's not a big deal the headshot the headshot actually doesn't give a vision as in his case but i'm not sure about that i think it's correct with one second or 0 0.5 seconds but just the camera angle change is more or less like making it non-existent so you don't get enough uh, information in 0 0.5 or one second to actually make a call so it's correct about that it's just something that we have to be getting used to i don't think it will change the game at all uh maybe it's uh, actually helpful because now it's your you will get quicker into viewing having a death cam on and uh someone else like you you, you can watch your teammates play might be better uh deagle reduced body damage this is something that we have asked for for a long time i haven't seen the number crunch on the deagle change but this is exactly what we ask for as long as i don't mind if it's a one shot kill and headshot but i've had a big issue with double kill a double body shot is a kill so i hope that's the fix i haven't seen it in play um or i haven't seen it crunched in numbers either so we'll have to see about exactly how it's changed but a uh, nerf to the deagle was expected it was asked for and this is more or less just exactly what the community asked for perfect this is exactly what i wanted and what other people have asked for reduced body damage m4a1 no that was wrong m4a1s increased body damage they went from 33 to 38 body damage which means that it now has a damage per second is higher than the M4A4. I I have been an M4A1S uh, player for ever since before they actually lowered the price for it. Before that, I was uh, back and forth trying out what I uh, liked the most, but I like the recoil better on the A1S, so that's why I play with that. So this one actually makes the A4 more or less useless because now you have a, a gun that is higher damage per second silenced and cheaper with a i would say easier uh because, because i'm used to it it's an easier uh, spray uh so I, I don't see people even playing a4 i talked to people in uh, who play semi-professionally and they said that uh, it, they've already in one day they've seen the change in uh, they've seen the switch in a4 uh, a1s favor so i think that will continue it's not the change that i wanted but it's a change that uh, seemed to have been uh, appreciated by a lot of community people and influencers within csgo i don't i think it's too much 
I think it was actually balanced, even though most people disagree with me or don't understand it, how it was balanced, because it's silencer, no tracers, and cheaper. That is three things that is good for the A1F. And the other one had uh, rate uh, per minute, uh, runs per minute, and yeah, that that's it. That's how I think I think it was uh, balanced before. Dual elites reduced price to three hundred. Let me just think about why anyone would use a P two fifty at this point. Sure, it's easier to use, but it's lower rate per um, runs per minute than uh, the dualies. So. I think that dual elites. I hope that this is just a trial period for from Valve that they reduce the price to see how people use the dual elites and how they how Valve should update the weapon in the future. I hope that's the case because if dual elites only cost three hundred, we will see a massive influx. People will pl only play dual elites as soon as it is an eco or pistol round or whatever. Especially now that you can drop nades and utility, dual elites will be masters on especially city side. Actually, on both sides, I don't care. Right shields added by uh, added the right shield heavy weapon to the buy menu. Currently purchasable by cities and casual hostage uh, map groups. Important here. It is casual hostage not competitive not any other uh, way so you can only buy it in cast casual hostage map groups i'm guessing it will be also for a test period to see how it's used how they can reduce it how, it, how they can change it how they can implement it before they put it in to other game modes because we already have it in um, uh, danger zone but uh, i think they will want to try it out in other game modes and they this is the first step. We will most likely see changes to it. Most likely change in price. And then we will see a change in how to use it before they introduce it to other uh, game modes. And as I said, I, I, I don't play ho hostage modes at all. I, I don't enjoy it. Maps. County has been added to official matchmaking in Danger Zone uh, game mode. When it comes to the maps, I'm going to see... Uh, the maps mentioned in this, I, I, I read through. Basalt and Insertion 2 have been added to official matchmaking in competitive casual death ma uh, deathmatch game modes. Ravine and Extraction have been added to official matchmaking in Wingman game mode. The following maps are no longer available in official matchmaking. Grind, Mo uh, Mocha, Mocha, Pitstop, Calavera, Frostbite. Okay, I can only say that go to 3 clicks Philip's video, he released something like 12 hours ago about this exact update uh, so uh, please go through his video because he explains it much better than i do i can leave a uh, description to it a link to the, it in the description box below uh, dust 2 slightly visible tweak from t-spawn through mid this is so hilariously uh, uh, mentioned Improved visibility into B site stack from up in B tunnels. They they made some um, uh, visibility changes to s easily see uh, CTs, most likely because they tried out their own new agent skins, and it turns out that uh, this change made it more visible or more equal visible, depending on who is standing in what. Uh, uh, positions it is good because this means we don't have any new like the cache and previously agent issue the other thing slight visibility tweak from t-spawn through mid you can't see mid from t-spawn anymore you can't take mid doors control from t-spawn this is a huge update because early rounds t's uh, don't have that same uh, information we have seen a lot of people already trying to solve this issue or trying to not solve an issue but trying to work around and find a new meta for this i suggest going to regin's uh, twitter account uh he had a su suggestion to this which i'm not keen on but I, I i like how they try to find new meta to develop this but late game people think that this is a city sided change because now you can get into uh, lower tunnels without being seen from t-spawn and uh, you can run to b without using smokes and nades and stuff just to get safely through you don't see any spams you can't see the 
uh, five volt lineup that uh, Fnatic had on uh, Apex uh, many 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 years ago. So on the meta, this has a huge impact, but it also helps the T side. After you leave the first initial engagement on mid, you had to duck and make a certain way that was slow through team spawn if you wanted to rotate through team spawn now you can just rush through team spawn to rotate it will improve the uh, t sides late rotation a lot so it's a uh, quite even uh it, it it will help the cities early rounds but it will help the t side uh, late rounds that's it uh let's see next one Inferno made gate at top of banana solid revised that's also the fucking ways the phrasing is so fucking poorly done revised one with one layout minor bug fixes minor bug fixes I haven't really seen any update on that uh, need more info but most likely the smoke bug issue that happened that the smokes uh, dropped through the ground on top of banana in certain angles it was hard to re uh, replicate and reproduce so uh, it didn't happen that often but we've seen it in a lot of FPL games in NA we've seen it in uh, I don't think we've seen it in professional games but I've seen it a few times on stream on reddit that's my guess. Revised one by one layout. It's more up to date with how the map actually looks. Uh, but it is more or less like you having a one on one on uh, A site. Um, I don't really care because people actually complain about the one by one uh, warm up. So I, I don't get the, like th this is like an update that has been delayed for such a long time. People enjoy the warm up earlier. Uh, when one v ones was added on as a warm up, people enjoyed it. But right now, if you find someone that is tryharding or find a way to actually warm up in one v ones, please comment in this video because most people just stand there or joke around or jump around. It's it's not. You need to have a, like a ten stack or a ten man game to actually have a decent uh, warm up. When I go into matchmaking, I barely ever see anyone try hard. Made gate at top of the banana solid. Not only that, but they actually changed it totally. Visible change. Visual, you can now see who is standing there. It was hard before. This is a huge update. Also, the nades, the uh, nades lineup and the bounce changes. This is a huge change, and they only say like it's made solid. They, it, it is a small portion of the map that is rarely played because it's a not an advantageous position but now it's a it's such a huge change for that specific position that it needs better phrasing uh, won't change the map how it's played at all uh, maybe we can see some new utility usage or uh, less people will save in that spot or less people will play post plants in that spot but i don't see too much uh, change on it ancient this is an a change that Valve actually made a few months ago but haven't found the right update to put it in like they wanted to do the, they, they didn't want it in a specific small update they wanted it in a larger update and this is the, the one of the largest updates we've had in years not only in uh, size but in impact of the gameplay Increased size of plantable area in both bomb sites. Fixed bullet pen penetration on plywood surfaces. Further optimization added one with one arenas. Again, with one with one arenas. I've gone through this on Inferno. We don't want it anymore because people don't utilize it as it was intended. People actually wanted to have a new warm up way. They were tired of the old way, but now we're tired of the one with one. So let's see how can we warm up in a proper fashion how is it proper warm-up for matchmaking we don't know yet but we only know that the old way is better than one we won but we don't like the, one, uh, the old way so yeah uh further optimizations this was also uh go to the three clicks video phillips uh, three clicks phillips video uh down below because he explains this but i agree with him this is not how you optimize uh, maps in 2021 in a game that is as old as CSGO. This is not how you do it. 
But it, sure, it's nice with an optimization, but it should have been so many ways that you could do it in a better fashion. Fixed bullet penetration on plywood surfaces. This was something people found out two days after the map was introduced in the first place. And it took six months before it was fixed. Actually, it took about a month and a half before it was fixed, but it took six months before it was in, the fix was implemented into the game. So the issue was that there was a uh, ply, uh, there was some plywood surfaces that was one way wall bangable. So you could shoot through it on one way, but you can't through, shoot through it in the other way. Doesn't make any sense in the gameplay aspect. So it's nice that they fix it. I don't know. I think they fixed it, so it's not penetrationable at all. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's two way. Either way, it's a welcomed, much welcomed fix. This is uh, this was almost game breaking uh, bug. So it's a nice, uh, w much welcomed uh, implementation. Increased size of plant area on both sides. Uh, the smallest of changes that you had to do. It is not enough. It is not finished because the bomb sites hasn't changed in radar. And uh, but sure, it is a welcome change because the plant uh, plantable area was an issue on the map. Now it is better, but it's not. It is not as good as it should be. First of all, a site shouldn't be in the position it should. It is right now. But now you got some few safe spots where you can plant. Uh, where you can plant, so you are safe from. Uh, either donut or temple while you're safe from ct which is nice uh you can find some place where you're safe from both temple and donut but not from ct and stuff like that so so it's good on a site on b site you can now it, it's just more varied you, you can actually there's no place no molotov that covers the whole plantable size which it was before so no need in actually using a smoke you're not forced to use a smoke grenade to plant a bomb in a b site right now so that's nice and i think that is all the updates uh if you got any questions about this uh please comment or my dms are open on twitter all my social media will be on uh, the, in the description uh please uh uh join the discord server where we talk a lot of csgo both casually but mainly pro cs uh we also love content creation on more games than just cs so just so you know join the discord follow me on twitter if you want to interact with me twitter is the best way or discord uh and i will be doing this more regularly in the future hopefully one time a week uh oh and I will plug my own self here. I got if Big Clan is top 15 during some point at the player break, winter player break, I will give away an orb Asimov. And that will be done through Gleam IO. But it will be in roughly five months. We will see. If they are top 15 sometime during the player break, I will give away an orb Asimov. That's it. Thanks for listening to me. I hope I didn't talk too much. And if you got any comments about glares, uh, the lighting being horrible, or the sound, this was a quite impromptu uh, 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 video. I just needed to do it because there was so many people who can't read, who can't read the patch notes and couldn't understand. So that's why I did this, and I did want to do it as soon as possible because I'm gonna be away for four days, starting more or less right now when I click stop so thanks for this thanks for listening to me